I am trying to film. Do you think you could thunder a little more quiet, please? Oh, you can't see my face. I should fix that, huh? I am a funky pants kind of gal. Hey there, thanks for stopping by. My name's Emma B, and today I will be showing you how I alter and thrift flip some of my clothes. Um, as you can see on my bed back here, I've got two piles. The first pile is rework, and so those are clothing items that I'm planning to deconstruct and reconstruct or reconfigure and make it into a different garment than the one it already is. But those are ones that might be a little more complicated and they're not going to stay exactly as they are right now. This pile right here is altering. Those are less complicated. Sometimes it's just taken in the waist or cropping the shorts a little shorter, like that sort of thing. Those are going to be the easier ones. It's still a fun way to revamp something you may already own and breathe a little new life into it. And I think it's really important right now, especially with all of the discussion around fast fashion and reducing our own carbon footprints. Obviously, individuals are not the biggest culprit. We, like, it is very clearly not. My not buying new clothes rather than reworking something I already own isn't gonna fix the climate crisis, but it sure as heck can't hurt. It's also easier on my wallet and it's a little bit better for the environment. And if that's an option I can take, I might as well. So I figured I would take you all along with me while I did that today. So the first item I wanted to work on is this giant short sleeve polka dot sheer duster. I think it's supposed to be worn as just like a button up dress, but I've only ever worn it as a duster. And I don't I haven't worn it recently because the skirt is so long. I want to rework this a little bit and turn it into a little cropped bolero situation and a skirt that I can then wear with like just plain biker shorts underneath and it's a fun little moment but it'll be short enough that it's functional. I thrifted this back in I think October it was in like the Halloween section which is one of my favorite places to find some unique items at like for any like larger chain thrift stores that do a Halloween specific section and I think it's originally from Shein at least that's my guess it didn't have the original tag in it but it had one of those like little bitty tags you see in a lot of them that just say like XXL on it or whatever. And it shows in some of the construction of the garment. Now that I've learned some more of the like official techniques on how to make clothes, even if I don't always use the official technique, I can look at some more like mass produced clothing and be like, oh, they cut a corner right there. That is a way that they save a little bit of money, but it brings down the quality. Okay, here's what it looks like right now on. You can't see, but it is almost to the floor, and for such a flimsy fabric, it makes me nervous because I'm very clumsy and I'm known to step on long skirts. So if I have a maxi skirt, I need it to be made of a stiffer fabric and not something as flimsy as this. Looking at the way the top fits, I need to do something about the sleeves though, because it has kind of a crappy end to it and it doesn't close. It doesn't close at all, which means I want to rework the sleeve because clearly it's not working and it's just kind of uncomfortable. Like it feels weird on my arms. So I'm gonna get rid of it. As far as the actual skirt part goes, I've gotta decide where I want to crop it off at. I can't crop off this one, right here. It doesn't actually work, I can't look at the top one, and I can't look at the top one, and it's a little bit on my waist. Once I got lost to it, really like As I try to figure out what exactly I'm doing with this. I mean, it's not like I can wear this top without something underneath it anyway, so I might cut it off. And then the skirt, I will work with this top section and make the waistband. From there, once I have a waistband made, I can try on the skirt again and figure out how short I want to make it at the bottom. Also, while unpacking some of my sewing stuff and trying to figure out what I wanted to keep, I found a bunch of random scrap pieces of elastic. Some are longer than others, but this is definitely going to come in handy for this. So right now I've got a cat friend, um, but I finished the sleeves completely, so they are all done. Hi. Yes. I ignored her. It was really mean. Get off my shirt, please. And I figured out the how I'm going to hem the bottom. I think what I'm going to end it are button pockets. Are you going to help me, or are you just going to get in my way and try to eat my fabric? Oh. Okay. I don't want to have to kick you out of my room, but I will. I know. That would be really sad for, like, having you in here. But I need you to not sit right. <laughs> so I don't know if I mentioned this. I am seam ripping buttons off of sections that I'm not using. So on the sleeves there were buttons on either side, so I seam ripped those because I'm like, those are perfectly good buttons. Could definitely use them in the future for other projects. 
I'm not doing anything crazy to the skirt. I was just adding elastic to the top so it stays up because now it doesn't have the top to support it. Um, and then I'm going to hem the bottom and probably add another button to the top. Just because where the button hits, I think the top is going to like flap open a little bit. And so I want to avoid that as much as possible. And here's the finished two-piece. So in by taking out a section in the middle, I now have this cute little cropped sheer top moment that I am definitely going to get a lot of use out of. I love little additions like these that don't really add any extra heat to my clothing, but make the outfit look a little more fire. <laughs> that was really good, I'm so sorry. And I also really like this skirt. I think it could be cool layered over other skirts. And it's just long enough that it reads as a maxi without me tripping over it all the time, which is preferable. I'm really excited to see how I utilize these pieces. I think the top is gonna get more wear over time, but I do think I'm still gonna be able to use the skirt quite a bit. So let me know if you guys wanna see this styled in any particular way. This one isn't super crazy. Crazy. This isn't crazy. Uh, this one isn't super crazy. It's this pair, this flare pair of leggings from Walmart. I'm wearing the exact same pair right now in black that I bought recently. I picked up these back early spring, I think. However, I wore them like once a week at least. The quality of them didn't really hold up, so they've gotten faded since then. Where the wear and tear most shows is in the crotch. There's now a hole. I am going to try and turn these leggings into a top, which sounds kind of crazy, but what I have seen other people do cut like a v-shape here for the head and then these become sleeves and like then the waistband is like the bottom of the top. I really love the wide leg on this and I think it would make a really cool bell sleeve moment. I don't know exactly how this is gonna work. We're gonna try that and we'll figure it out. It'll, it'll happen. All right, I just finished hemming the new neckline, and now the only step I have left before it's ready to be worn out is seam ripping the tag out, because I flipped the original back of the leggings to be the front, because I need more of the fabric on the front on my top half, and the feeling of the tag on my stomach will drive me. I, I like to think ahead, I'm just that prepared. No, I just know from experience. I just know from experience that I will not wear it if it's got the tag. And I've got my seam ripper right here and I'm already working on the garment, so I might as well seam rip it right now. And now that that's all done, let's see what it looks like on. And here's the finished product. I love it. I need more swishy sleeve tops. I just, I'm loving the like bat wing. I've seen some recently that are like sheer ones with like ruffle trim. I need them or I need to make them. This is such a fun little addition to a simple outfit. Currently I'm wearing gym shorts because it's laundry day, but it's fine. I don't know that I would wear this on its own, but I think it would be really cute with a tank top or maybe on like a really hot summer day, a lacy bralette and some high-waisted shorts. I feel like that'd be really fun. And it's also super lightweight and breathable, so I really could wear this in like super hot weather. I do think I might at some point, as it wears out a little bit more, add either elastic or figure out a way to rig it a little higher so that way it's not slipping down as I'm wearing it. I like how long the sleeves are that it reaches my hands right now, but I'm worried that if I wear it for a longer time, like for a full day, the shoulders will continue to slip down and then my hands will just be gone. There should be no hands. So it is something that could definitely be a work in progress, but it is wearable as it is right now. Maybe I'll end up changing it a little more in the future, but for now I'm really glad I was able to salvage these leggings because they were no longer wearable as their original purpose. And I get to continue wearing this fabric that I really love the feel of and I also just love the print. I would consider this a massive success. If you have any suggestions as to what I should wear underneath or if maybe you think, I don't know, like if I could add straps to this, like I could do like ribbon straps. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. On to the next flip. For the next article of clothing, I have this maxi full circle skirt that is in the prettiest tropical print I have ever seen. I don't know about y'all, but I'm living for this. I'm also living for just how full this is. It also reaches all the way to the floor, has an elastic waist, is incredibly comfortable, and also just looks really good. I love the swishiness of this material. I recently picked it up with my mom at TJ Maxx. 
and I know myself, skirts like these, if you wear shorts underneath, you're gonna be able to see it because the material is a thinner material. I don't function if I just have a skirt and my bare thighs. So I wanna turn this giant skirt into also giant pants. I am a really big proponent of funky pants. I am a funky pants kind of gal. And I know I'll wear these more if they're pants. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna lay out the skirt, fold it in half to create the two legs with the center seam um, on the folded side. And I'm going to compare it to the inseam of a pair of pants I like, and then cut about an inch in and then all the way down to create the two legs. That'll make it pretty easy to then sew up the two legs and then reinforce the crotch area because we all know my thighs are not nice to pants, but I want these to last and so I'll make sure to do some extra stitching in the crotch and thigh area just to give the seams a little extra reinforcement. The rest of the skirt is sewn with a straight stitch and then serged edges, but I don't own a serger. So what I'm gonna do, cry a little bit, no. So I'm probably going to do a French seam for the inner leg seam just because it's one that I can do pretty easily without having access to a serger, which means when you're, you're seeing this, I'm sewing the wrong sides together rather than the right sides together. That's intentional because then I'll trim off a lot of the extra hem, press it the opposite direction, and then sew it in to then hide those edges, which means there won't be any fraying fabric any rough seams against me, it'll be a better time for everyone involved. And then by everyone, I mean me. I mean myself. It will feel better for me. <laughs> okay, I'm finishing my last ironing of the pants, but I wanted to show y'all this part of the hem because it just shows. Even commercialized items are not perfect. And it's a, it's a nice reminder sometimes when I feel like my work needs to be perfect because clearly nobody's is, and that's okay. Anyway, it's almost done. Woohoo! Alright, here are the final pants. I am so excited about these. It still kind of looks like a giant skirt, but like, let me see if I can hoist my leg kind of. There are indeed legs, I swear. See, there are legs. I love them. I'm so excited to wear these, and you will definitely be seeing more of these. Anyway, that was the last thrift flip I have for y'all today. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all next time. Toodles! I'm like watching the loading screen of my brain happening. Sit down, is so mean to me, and she bullies me, and she never does me.